This is Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Tire Shine. Uh, self claims of durability, high gloss, and water resistance. This is to be either sprayed onto the tire for the high gloss look, but I like a more kickbacked medium shine, if that makes sense. So I use the foam applicator to spread it on. If you spray it onto the tire directly, um, of course, there's going to be overspray on the wheels and other places, so look out for that. But it will go on looking a milky white color, but that turns clear and will self-level, actually. Of course, stay away from using on motorcycles or bicycles, anything two-wheeled, and keep it away from your brake system, the drums or rotors or pads. 16 ounces of the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Tire Shine for somewhere around $15. Depends on where you find it or where you look. No need for a long, drawn-out video on the product. Uh, I could just cut to the sh chase and tell you I like the way it looks, and it does keep the tire looking darker for a nice period of time. The durability on its claims of being hydrophobic and protecting the tire leaves a lot to be desired. But that's just my experience in my environment. If you're going to use this, clean that tire the best you can. As many rounds as it takes. Uh, I'd like to use Kraken here from Phoenix EOD. You can immediately see it start breaking down any muck, dirt, or crud that's on the tire. Scrub the tire with your favorite tire brush, something with some aggressive bristles. Really get in there and deep clean the rubber. All this is to get the most out of the SiO2 and the protectant within the formula. Uh, it does look fantastic, but if you want to get the most out of the durability, really put some prep into cleaning the tire and that I mean that that goes for just about anything you do in detailing correct the more prep you put into it the more you're going to get out of it Rinse thoroughly, and you're going to see everything that was stripped of the tire, so far anyway. You don't want to apply the ceramic tire shine on a cruddy tire. So I'm going to keep going and do another pass. I will continue to do this and do whatever it takes. And what I'm looking for is when I'm agitating with the scrub brush that the suds and the foaminess stays nice and bright and white. If it keeps turning dark and mucky, I'm just going to do another pass until I am satisfied anyways that it's clean and clear. That way the bond to the tire, um, you'll get less sling that way. You'll get a better look, nice even look, and the protection will be a bit more durable. Once again, give it a thorough rinse, and the most important part, make sure the tire, the rubber, is completely dry before applying the tire shine. That'll give you the best bond. And there's going to be a huge difference. Uh, again, you could spray directly onto the tire. I don't like doing that. I'll just put it on with your, your, just put it on with your favorite applicator. It'll get it nice and dark and rich. This will be the medium look.
and just let it cure. Keep it away from free-flowing water. It will self-level a bit. Uh, it may look a little bit uh, streaky here, but it, it will look nice and even once it's cured. While it does cure, and it'll be a while till I get back to this tire and can play with it and beat it up with uh, water and chemicals, I'm going to apply to a few other different types of cars and colors and wheels so you get an idea of what this would look like and maybe give you an idea of what it would look like on your car. Shop manager could care less, but I don't think it looks bad. Let's continue on. And with the next nice and sunny day, which is few and far in between here in Pennsylvania, we'll drag the tire outside. It feels nice and uh, dry to the touch, nice and slick. There is really no sling to worry about with this dressing. Um, and it looks a few shades darker than the rest of the tire, a new tire look. Uh, it's the durability and the hydrophobic properties that um, leave a lot to be desired, but uh, you can tell there is protection on the rubber. When it comes to cleaning, tires and wheels that are coated. I'm going to use the exact same shampoo I use for the rest of the car for the painted surfaces because that shampoo would be pH neutral. I don't want to go with anything that's alkaline or acidic to really break down the protectant. So that's what I would use. So that's my experience with the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Tire Shine. There are so many of these available nowadays, but to be completely honest, I'm still not satisfied with most of them. That's why I'm kind of working on one uh, of my own that I can offer to you guys. I'll keep you posted, but until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video.